always search thrift stores, Goodwills, garage sales, and more for possible treasures. Then I decide whether to purchase or pass. Watch what I do and decide for yourself. Would you buy it? So we got a choice to make. We got two different community garage sales in very different directions. It's the moment of choice, the moment of truth. To the right or to the left? Which way are we going, boy? Oh, God, no. A bad choice. Will we find the Vex tracks? Will we find the records? Or are they back the other way? Beat a honey. So choices were made, and uh, this is the outcome. We can't go back and figure out what we could have come on with otherwise. We didn't do that great, but um, there's a couple of interesting finds, and so probably the most interesting find is this Pioneer laser disc player, and um, supposedly it works, that's what the guy said. It does have the remote, which is definitely good. And I'll talk a little bit about it as I show you these. So I think this actually came with it as like a demo laser disc, but Top Gun. So there's some decent ones here. So there's Star Wars, uh, the first three, again, which are now whatever, four, five, six, but in real life, they're the first three. Um, <clears throat> Silence of the Lamb, which is good. So we were at some guy's house. He said he had gotten this uh, from somebody. And he, I think he asked, 30, I said, oh, could I give you 20 and just take five CDs or five of the discs? Um, and he said, sure. And then he said, well, if you take them all, just give me 25. This is actually sealed Robin Hood. So that's good. Stallone. So 25, supposedly it works. I I'm sure it's worth it. I mean, even if, I don't know how many di uh, discs there are, but even if they're... Okay. Yeah, this one's sealed too. Um, yeah. So even if they, there's probably at least 20, so even if we got like a buck each, which is crazy, um, <clears throat> it's worth it. So we're actually going to try it out. There's a chance we'll keep it. I'm not positive we'll sell it. Got some tapes. Uh, I did sell those uh, Motley Crue tapes quickly, and I was surprised. So three ACDCs. At a different house, there was a, a fourth ACDC for 25 cents that I passed up. I kind of cursed myself on that. Uh, but I paid two bucks for these. So, you know. Uh, and I think my only other thing was uh, a garbage find, a free find. Uh, this is some kind of amp probe. Sounds inappropriate. Uh, I think it's like a battery tester. So, whatever, free. So, Justin. Um, so I'll get? start, I think, in the same box as that, mm -hmm. I found this little oh, yeah, Wii nice. um, rocket fish. It's just like a connector for it. Um, I think I actually have, I got a PS2 and a Wii potentially like last weekend yeah, or two did, weekends yeah. ago. Uh, yes, so maybe I can include that. Like it's in the box, got it's it free. Yeah. So yeah. Price was right. Yep. Uh, then here... Um, for like a buck, I just got this wireless charger uh, that I'm gonna use for myself, I think. Mm -hmm. um, and then a kind of cool thing, uh, that got this Canon camera for Ooh. 15. Okay, um, you can't pay retail, dude. No, you cannot. It's uh, old. Yeah, it's definitely kind of vintage. It's a G3 QL uh, Canon. Um, and so it's not a removable lens, and it's film, I believe, as well. Yeah. Guess. But I looked it up real quick when we were there, and it seemed like it could go for like a hundred plus, maybe a little less. But this has the like thing that it comes in. Okay, sure. Um, a little strap. I don't know how important that is, but it also came with this bag of nice bag. <laughs> a whole lot of like oh. stuff. Um, Oh, so, so I'm not sure exactly what's in here. I got just, some kind of... Maybe the manual. Yeah, okay. I'm, I'm hoping the manual is in there somewhere. Yeah. And this thing, which I'm assuming is a flash. Yeah, it seems like it's a yeah. Canon Canalite D flash. That's cool. So hopefully that'll work. Cause, oh, it's got... Uh, is that corrosion? Yeah, that's... Yeah. yeah. Okay, so that could be bad, but yeah. I can at least include it and... They said the camera works, 
we'll see if that's true. For 15, I think it was definitely worth it. All right, cool. Um, so of course, then. records. Yeah, gotta get the records. Yeah. Uh, so a bunch of different places, a few garage sales, and mostly at this one like flea market place. So I got, I paid five bucks for this Bee Gees Greatest Hits. Mm -hmm. um, so that should be good. Uh, Tommy the Who. I think yeah, I paid, yeah. what, five bucks, three yeah, bucks? I oh, three bucks. Three. Yeah. Oh, I, I got this yeah, and this Rush awesome. for five bucks. I saw the Rush better. Yeah. Uh, yeah so, so Fly By Night, that's a good album. That's a good album. The album covers themselves are, especially the Who's oh, kind of yeah. beat up, but I, lo I looked at the records briefly and they all seem to be in pretty good condition, so. And that was the guy who was like talking up a storm about it. Yeah. He had hundred dollar records, two hundred dollar records. Yeah, and he showed us like uh, some a bun. He had like a one basket or whatever of records that was like two hundred, three hundred dollars. Yeah. Imports. About. Yeah, it was crazy. So one of the things uh, that he also showed us was this printout of a Beatles album cover that was them with like some doll baby heads or something Neat. that. Yeah. Yeah, me. Mm -hmm. Um, and it was like, uh, it was just weird. I think it had been like, canceled or something. Like they didn't yeah. release a whole ton of them. Um, right. and so that was kind of interesting to see and learn about. So at a different place at that same flea market, uh, I got Toto Four in London Town. Yeah. Okay. Uh, for ten bucks total. Toto. Five bucks. Yeah. Hopefully, all the records I got today will be in good condition. Yeah. All right, so we got the laser disc we think hooked up and cooked, uh, connected to power. And we're gonna try Fugitive. Uh, I've looked at some of the prices on these laser discs and they're actually not worth very much. The Star Wars are worth a bit. All right, here we go. Do we got a winner or a loser distant? All right, we got lights making noises. Let's go to zero. That's all positive, right? So open, close. So let's look at this thing, man. Look at that thing. Cool. All right, let's see what happens. Let's see, closing it. Laser disc. So we got the remote. Okay, so it went play. It's blinking. It's making some noises. Play side A. Oh, actually it's doing something. How? Oh. All right. Laser vision. I wonder if the disc is doing or something. I mean, we just tried it. Well, that's okay. So it looks like it's working. So that's, yeah. that's good. And I guess that's it, right? Um, I think so, yeah. We didn't get a whole ton. No. I'd say the uh, disc thing is... The most exciting thing, I'll be excited to try that. Yeah, out. and hopefully that camera pans out and you get a good yeah. chunk for it, so. Yeah. It was fun. Not mm -hmm. as, yeah. uh, you know, not as good an outcome as usual, but so, so be it. Sometimes you take the right path, sometimes you take the wrong path.